Hey everyone, and welcome to this webinar. Uh, thank you so much. We're super excited to share Travify's latest feature, uh, credit card authorization and e-signature that's built right into Forms. Um, so I'm really excited. But before I dig into that, I do wanna say once again, truly sorry for everyone who joined the webinar. We had technical difficulties. This is a recording. Um, no one's live on here, it's just me, but I am sharing this with all of you and so excited for you to watch this. Um, but I just wanna say thanks again again for bearing with us as we work through those technical difficulties and I'm excited though that I can still share this with you and do the webinar like we normally would have right now. Um, so thank you again for joining us. Um, but first, before I go too far in, let me introduce myself. Um, I'm Stephanie Grice and I am on the Client Champion Support Team here at Travify. Um, so you'll also see we have Haley and Kendra on here and I wanted to show their beautiful faces as well because uh, most likely after this, when you're asking us uh, questions about client or credit card authorization, um, you're probably gonna be talking to one of us three um, so I just wanted to bring them into it as well so you can put a face to the name. Um, now, what we're going to do in today's agenda, first, what we're going to do is we are going to look at a quick overview. I'm going to spend just a couple minutes um, walking through all of Travify's products, just in case there's anyone new here. So if there's anyone new, brand new to Travify, um, I want to show you all the cool things that we have available to you. Um, and then we are going to do a full demonstration of how you use credit, credit card authorization and e-signature. Um, so you're going to see all of it, how it looks when you're putting it together, what it looks like on the client's end, how you retrieve it. Um, so you're gonna get to see all of the different ways that you can use this feature. And then we were supposed to have time for Q&A at the end. Unfortunately, this is not a live webinar, um, but please send us your questions at professional at travify.com or in the chat um, in-app feature within your account and we can answer those questions for you. Um, but as I mentioned, before we dive into credit card authorization and e-signature, um, I do want to give you a quick overview of Travify as a whole in case there's anyone new joining us. Now, this should only take a couple minutes. So um, as you can see, we have a lot of different products for you to use, um, but really the biggest bread and butter of Travify is that we offer the ability to create beautifully branded itineraries and proposals that your clients can view online from a PDF and a mobile app as well. So we have those. And then the last big release that we had, so the last webinar that we had um, similar to this one was about websites. Um, so this amazing tool allows you to create a landing page that you can use as your main website or as a marketing tool to share those trip itineraries, um, you know, share your contact information, um, put reviews, anything you want in there. Um, and the greatest thing is, is it's a simple drag and drop interface that anyone can use and create with. So it's pretty, pretty cool, great for marketing. Um, but also in the past year, we've created a simple CRM tool that allows you to save client contact information, and that syncs directly with your entire Travify account. Now, in that, we also have Forms, which is a tool that's built into Contacts that allows you to collect information from anyone. Now, you can see where I'm going with on this one. This is where credit card authorization is housed, and this is where we're going to be spending most of our time here today, um, actually all of our time here today, in uh, credit card authorization at e-signature and the forms, but that goes with contacts. So you're going to see how all of that plays together here um, in just a couple minutes here. Uh, but one thing that's probably one of the most important things to note is that all of this is included in your Travify subscription. So credit card authorization, the website, you name it, there's no extra fee. It's all part of Travify. So if you have a Travify subscription, you have access to this. Um, so that's what's pretty cool. Um, so if there's anyone on here who doesn't have a Travify account yet, go to Travify.com, start a free trial, and in there you'll be able to um, access all of these, test it all out, and um, use all this fun stuff. So with that being said, though, I am going to switch over. Let's go into our trips here because we want to see how credit card authorization and e-signature is working. So let's set one up. So how we're going to do this, I'm in my account first. So I'm in my Travify account. Now, when you're ready to create a form or um, manage a form, what you do is that's going to be in your library. So up at the top here where it says library, click on that. Now this is gonna bring you into your library and I am going to create a new library item and I'm gonna choose form. So that's what you're gonna do is you're gonna choose the form option. Now, 
Quick time out. One thing I want to point out here is that um, if this is your first time going into forms um, or to create a credit card authorization form, you're going to have a little pop up that looks like this. I grabbed a screenshot to show you. Um, this is we're telling you that you need to turn on two factor authentication in your account before you're able to use the credit card authorization. So it'll look like this and you can click the uh, try it now button and it'll take you to your account settings so you can set up um, 2FA two factor authentication. Same thing. Uh, you might hear us refer to it as 2FA. That's what it is. Uh, but basically what it is, is that is your security. So that's why we require that is because this is another layer of security in your account because you're going to have very sensitive information in here. So the two-factor authentication is just going to, when you're trying to log into your account, it might send you a text and you'll have to put in that code that you get right away. Um, so that will have to be enabled in there. Um, so once you have it enabled, it will no longer appear. So I already have it enabled in my account. So here's what it's looking like. So now what I can do is just start creating this form. So first, let's go ahead and give it a title. So I'm just going to say credit card authorization. I'm going to keep it simple. But this is where you could put in, um, you know, their name. Or if you need to have a different title in there, you can do that. And then I'm going to say create my first question. So I'm just going to create that. Um, and then I can go ahead and put in that question here. So um, you can ask this however you want. I'm just gonna, again, keep it simple and say, please enter your payment information, but you could change that however you wanna ask that question. And then what you're gonna do to get the credit card authorization option is right on the right-hand side, this is where you can choose what type of response you're receiving. So I'm gonna toggle this down and you can see that I can request card authorization. And that's what I want. So I'm gonna click card authorization and then I can go ahead and put in my terms and conditions in here. So I am going to, I'm, I'm just giving an example. Um, I hereby authorize at your terms and conditions. So I don't actually have terms and conditions, but I know you do. So that's where you can add those in there. Um, and then I'm also gonna require this question because this is why I'm sending this form. I need this kind of response. So I'm gonna say this is a required uh, question that you need to fill out. Um, so I'm just gonna say it's required. When you're done, click that little check mark button, and that's it. Now, one thing that I want to point out is that in this form, you can ask for other information. So if you need other things um, to you know, start planning this trip for this person, you can ask those. So just as an example to show you what I mean by this is I'm going to ask another question, and I'm going to say add another question, and I'm just going to ask, um, you know, say, please add any frequent flyer numbers just giving that as an example. Um, and then I can ask like, what kind of response do I need? And I'll just choose long answer. It's not gonna be required. Um, and I can just go ahead and save that. So just to show you what you can do in there. But now once I'm done, I'm gonna click done editing. And now it's saved in my library here. Um, so if I click back in here, first before we send this, we can preview it. So you can click the preview button and this will show you what it's going to look like for them um, so you can see that they'll have this and they can choose to add their payment information and again we're going to walk through this as the as your client would um, and then i can say continue i have that question please add any frequent flyer numbers continue um, and then this is where that electronic signature comes in so they can put the e-signature in here and fill it out so um really simple but now what we want to do is let's actually send this. So I want to walk through the process of sending this to a client. So when you're ready to do that, just click the send form button. And then you will need to send this directly to an email. So you can't get a link. So with other forms where you're not asking for credit card information, you can get a link and share it, but not with this one. This one's just more secure. Um, so we are, I'm just going to put in, um, I'm just kind of creating an email so that this goes to me. So I'm just going to create an email there, um, put that in there. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to have to specify um, a, some information here. So first, I'm going to put some specific transaction information of what's going on. So I'm going to put the transaction description. And again, I'm keeping it really simple, but I'm just going to say this is going to be charged $1,000 for a flight, $1,500 $1, for a hotel, and this for your trip to Italy. You might have a lot more in here. And this is where you can see here that you can put any information that you want. So that's where you can put the description of what this transaction is for. And then you can also put the transaction amount. So when I add up the $1,000 and $1,500, it's $2,500. So I'm just going to say 2,500. 
I can also go ahead and put the transaction deadline. So I am going to collect this no later than June 22nd. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that as my deadline. And then I'm gonna click send form and it's sent. So now what's gonna happen is a form is gonna be sent to your client um, so that they can fill that out. It's gonna come via email and we can see it come in here. So I'm just going to, there it is, that Katie Sanders, that's my, um, my fake demo account. So this is, we'll pretend Katie Sanders is our agent. Now we are the client. So now what I'm gonna do as a client is I'm going to view the form that was sent to me. And now I can begin filling out this information. So I'm gonna start by adding my payment method and then I can put in, um, I'm just gonna, my name's gonna be Susie Smith here. Um, and then let me add my card number. I can add expiration date and then um, the CVV. Um, and then I can just quickly enter my address. I'm just going to, I'm kind of making one up here, but you'll see what I mean here. There we go. Okay, so I have everything in there. I'm gonna submit it. There we go. I can check it out, double check. And if I'm like, oh shoot, I put in the wrong card, you can replace it. So they have the option to replace that. Um, and then I'm gonna click continue. Um, here's another question that I asked. Um, I am just going to say NA on this one. Click continue. And now here's where I can review everything. I'm gonna review all of this. Once it's good to go, I'm going to say okay. I'm going to digitally sign my name or electronically. I have my e-signature in here. Um, I can go ahead and see everything. Um, now I'm going to submit responses. So now I'm just submitting it. And now what's gonna happen, um, so the next process, so my client is gonna see this, they're gonna say, okay, you can close out of this, you're good to go. Um, so now what I can do is I, as the um, agent, I am going to get an email letting me know that they have filled this out. So you can see right here, this notification. So it says that this person has responded. So I'm gonna say, great, okay, let me view the response. So now it's gonna take me to my Travify account. I can see, now we're in our contacts and you can see um, that information that was brought in. But let me just backtrack here a little bit. So um, this brought me right into my contacts, but if you're coming, logging into your Travify account, then going into your contacts, all you need to do is click contacts at the top here. And then if you click on that contact, then you'll see it. So you'll see it right away in here. So really simple. Um, and then just click view details. And there it is, you'll see everything. You'll see what they, um, what they put in there. Now, another thing that's really great about this, another just great layer of security, is that your client's also gonna receive a PDF as well of um, what they filled out. So we'll see it here. I'm gonna come back to my email here in just um, a minute, but um, I will be able to see that PDF. And you can also download a PDF from here as well, um, just so that you have that. So that's what's really nice about it. You know, again, your client's receiving, you know, okay, here's what I filled out. Um, you know, all that's really great. So pretty easy. Um, you know, again, it's a very simple, um, hopefully really straightforward um, way to collect that information. Um, but again, if you do have any questions, um, please let us know, feedback, anything. Um, send us an email at professional at travify.com. You can chat us in your account as well. So you can see in the bottom uh, left-hand corner, I have that little chat icon. So you can see that in there as well. Um, so you can, ask us any questions and we are happy to answer. And once again, thank you so much everyone who did join us and tried to join us live. Um, I hope this is just as fun. I know it's not as fun live, but um, I'm excited that I could share this with you. So thank you so much again and keep us updated if you have any questions at all.